guys, Sayang Gupta here, founder at 10 Excoder Kids and an official Guinness record holder for the youngest computer programmer in the world. And today, you are gonna be learning chapter 8 of your book, Trackpad, class 6, that is internet services, that is on your page number 95. So we'll start right now. Alright, so uh, we come on page number 96 and uh, uh, it's just saying we have already learned in our earlier classes that the most popular use of internet is to retrieve information. It is a huge storehouse of information on all topics such as news, politics, scientific in inventions, etc. In this chapter, we will learn about a few services offered by the internet. So we all know what we can do on the internet. Right now, we will uh, all see the services provided by the internet. Right? So services on the internet on page number 96. Internet provides various services for the users. Let's learn few services of internet. First of all, we have searching information. We can search information on the internet. And now super AIs, these high-end AIs like ChatGPT and BARD have come out to help us even more. Right? These ChatGPT and all can actually do your homework right now. So these are some crazy mind blowing AIs that have now come to give us information uh, uh, of the next level, right? So first of all, we are on searching information. The internet is a vast platform filled with endless data on topics such as news, healthcare, entertainment products, etc. This information has been published on websites by people or companies. All right. So we can search for any kind of information on the internet by using the search engine. Google is the most popular search engine, right? So to search something on the internet using Google, type www.google.com on the address bar of the browser and click on Google search option or press the enter key, right? Even better if you just directly type in your browser, uh, uh, browser address bar, uh, directly you can search for anything on the web, right? So, pure fact, a single Google query uses 1000 computers in 0.2 seconds to retrieve an answer. So, once you Google something, it could be anything you Google, it uses 1000 computers in 0.2 seconds to retrieve its answer. Wow. So, your one Google query will take up to 0.2 seconds and it will uh, use 1000 computers. Just imagine how many Google use searches you do per day, right? Now we are on instant messaging, right? So on page number 96, instant messaging allows us to exchange messages like your WhatsApp uh, or you can say this online Facebook, Instagram, all. These are all examples of instant messaging. Then you have Skype, right? Facebook Messenger and all. So instant messaging allows us to exchange mes messages like text, picture, etc. between two or more people at different locations connected to the internet. Alright, so it allows us to create a group that may consist of friends, family or people at work with whom you can chat privately. Right, so when anyone in the group comes online, all the others who are also online are notified of his or her presence. Facebook Messenger, Yahoo Messenger and Skype are some applications used for instant messaging. Today most common is WhatsApp, right? So pretty pretty good. Next we have video conferencing. Like we have instant messaging, we can now communicate through video. Video conference is a live meeting held between two or more geographically separated people. Each participant requires a video camera, a microphone, speakers and a high speed internet con connection to tra transmit audio and video data. Right? So we all know this. Right? We have all used this in the lockdown also. We have used instant messaging. We have used video conferencing. Right? In uh, the lockdown. Uh, the most common of our school only is our school Springdale's uh, teams. Right? We use teams uh, to uh, have a classes. Right? So that was an example of video conferencing. Uh, right? We all... Okay, accept it. We did cheat in the papers. Right? You did cheat in the papers. We use Google to find the answers of our question, right? So we did so uh, of uh, searching of information, and finally we have instant messaging, right? Uh, that we did while the paper we message our friends. Please send me this answer, and he sent you the answer. We used instant messaging also, 
right pretty cool as we speak members of the meeting hear our voices on the speakers we are on page number 96 anything in front of the camera such as person's face appears in a window on each participant screen video conferencing is used in business to conduct meetings to conduct online classes for students located everywhere in the world uh, anywhere in the world and in the healthcare industry by doctors to interact with patients and their colleagues examples of applications that support video conferencing are google meet skype and zoom all right and finally we are on file sharing so internet allows us to download and upload large amounts of data there are various online file sharing services like Dropbox and Google Drive available on the internet that allow us to share documents, data, audios and videos on cloud rather than storing the data locally on our secondary storage device, right? So we can, uh, we have cloud storing, we have iCloud, we have Google Drive, we have photos of Google, Google Photos for specifically for photos. We have so many services to save uh, files and uh, share files with other people, right? Google Drive is a cloud storage service developed by Google. It provides up to 15 GB free safe storage space. We can store data online so that it can be accessed from anywhere. It also provides tools for sharing with other users easily over the internet. We can store files on Google Drive and send links to other users to share, uh, share the content, right? So we have all used Google Drive in our life, right? So uh, we have all used while collabing, uh, uh, while collaboration, right? We have all used Google Drive, right? So opening Google Drive, now it's uh, giving us steps to use Google Drive. First to open Google Drive, follow these steps, all right? So we have open the Google website and click the grid icon. We are on page number 97, select the drive option. Uh, enter your email address, press the next button, type email password to open the Google Drive window. Uh, very simple, uh, that's just too much complicated. You have all logged in once. Uh, so if you haven't logged in, it will ask you to log in. You all must have be having a Google account. Just go to uh, drive.google.com or uh, like it has said to uh, click the grid icon and then the drive option and then just enter your email and uh, password to uh, basically sign uh, uh, get into your Google Drive right now uh, we are on uploading file or folder on the drive so to upload file or folder on Google Drive follow these steps first we'll uh, click the new option then we'll click on folder and select file upload or folder upload right and then we will navigate the folder and select the desired files or folders so we'll select what we want to upload and then click on the open button we are all know that all right so now we are on your page number 98 e-commerce so all right today no one goes out to buy their stuff everything is available online and we order everything online right so e-commerce is the activity of buying and selling products and services over the internet internet is becoming extremely popular as a place to carry out business Amazon, Flipkart, Mintra are examples of e-commerce websites and apps. You must have ordered anything like uh, from uh, Swiggy, you must have ordered food. From Amazon, you must have ordered toys, uh, gifts, uh, uh, home appliances, electronics, etc. From Flipkart also, you have uh, brought, uh, must have bought something. And then from Mintra, it's basically for clothing, right? So, must have bought clothes, uh, all right? So pretty cool. So these websites help us to buy various products without visiting a store, right? A customer only needs to open the website, select the product and make the payment online. The product will then be develop, uh, develop, uh, de <laughs> delivered to at his or her doorstep. Some benefits of e-commerce are e-commerce websites are operational round the clock so we can purchase an item at any time of the day right so it saves time and travel expensive expenses right so it, it saves time you don't have to go to the shop and buy stuff and travel expenses also right uh, it allows us to compare prices and feature of various products online so you would have seen that some uh, things same products on flipkart are cheaper uh, then uh, on Amazon so you order from Flipkart whereas some products are cheaper on Amazon and uh, more expensive on Flipkart so you uh, must have bought from Amazon right so uh, we can compare the uh, prices of uh, 
the products on various product uh, various uh, websites or e-commerce websites and then some e-commerce websites also uh, uh, allow us to change the product within a given time limit if found unsatisfying so right now if you say that uh, you order an electronic and it's unsatisfying you will be able to return the product or replace it for uh, another product right so uh, these are all the uh, benefits of uh, e-commerce uh, websites right now we are on page number 98 internet banking so internet also plays an important role in the banking sector online banking allows us to transfer money and pay bills security uh, securely <laughs> using the banks secure website and apps so the most common uh, 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 examples are paytm phone pay uh, bharat pay and then now WhatsApp has also introduced its uh, online money transfers and all, right? So online transactions can be done with the help of debit cards, credit cards, or net banking. The user is provided with this username and the password so that he or she can make online transactions securely on the internet. And you have many things. You have the OTP, you have the two-factor authentications and all, all right so some benefits of internet banking are online transactions can be made without going to the bank and at any time of the day so if for example you want to buy some product online you can instead of going to the bank uh, uh, and all uh, for transactions you can directly uh, uh, do online transactions right or if you want to send someone money and you are out of cash so you can do online uh, transactions using UPI, Paytm and all, right? So accounts can be accessed from anywhere and we can keep a track of all the transactions done in the past, right? So you can uh, keep track of what transactions you have actually done in the past. Like if you bought some electronic product, you uh, your uh, online transaction, uh, you, you will be able to keep track of when did you buy the product and how much it costed you. Right, so transferring money between accounts becomes simple and can be done with ease. Ease. It's very simple to do. Right. It becomes very simple. Next, we have blog on page number ninety nine. So a blog or a web blog is a personal online diary or journal that allows us to share our thoughts or ideas. So you must have read many blogs where people share their experiences of life. They share their experiences of a certain event, etc. Right. So a web blog is a personal online diary or a journal that allows us to share our thoughts or ideas. A blog allows us to connect with people with similar interests, right? You can, the benef, one of the benefits is that you will be able to increase your community. You will be able to connect with people who you don't know but have similar interests with. And in future, you can actually collab with them and uh, uh, partner with them to do some big project, right? We can add videos, pictures, and music to our blog, and visitors can add comments on the published content too. So I also have a blog, so you can check it out in the description, right? So blogging is the process of writing, photographing, or using other media to self-publish content online. It is one of the most popular ways to put out content that other people on the web can interact with. Right. So blogging gives us the opportunity to voice our opinions. It has also become a platform for business to advertise themselves. Right. So pretty cool blogs are one benefits of uh, uh, the Internet. Right. And finally, podcasts. It's like a new type of uh, it's an emerging way of sharing information, right? So, uh, like, it's there for a long time, but uh, it's getting popularity now. Right. So podcast is like an online on demand radio show. It can be uh, considered as a medium through which recorded audio information is distributed over the Internet. Unlike a radio show where the show is broadcasted live. Right. So you can record and uh, stream it on the Internet. Right. So we can listen to these audio files whenever we want. Unlike radios where there's a specific time when um, uh, when people go live and give out their uh, audio right Where, when we can hear them all right
there are thousands of podcasts available ranging from general interest entertainment shows uh, shows to topics like education technology etc right so you can listen to podcasts directly from the websites that they are posted on or can also subscribe to them using software like ipod and itunes all right so uh, these files can also be downloaded so that we can listen to them on our computers and mobile phones so it's uh, kind of similar to uh, radio hosts uh, but uh, the difference is basically that these podcasts are recorded and can be replayed and can be downloaded and etc etc right and uh, how can you replay them how can you download them because through the internet right now on your page number 99 we are on safety on internet right following following points must be kept in mind while using internet services never share your personal information with anyone you should never share your personal information with anyone right always set a strong password as it is difficult to guess there by securing your accounts right so you should always have a small pa- uh, strong password right you can should have numbers letters capital letters small letters special characters etc right and you try to keep it 12 characters long avoid using public wi- wifi while accessing your accounts so uh, whenever you are accessing your accounts avoid using public wifi your account information may get leaked right if it is an absolute necessity then only you should use your public wifi a public wifi and then finally avoid opening an email which is received from an unknown you should never open an email email which is received from an unknown because when you click it they must have set a file inside which will automatically download install and then it can ruin or extract files that important files from your computer it may delete important files from your computer it may send uh, important files to other people or, com- uh, or competitors who you don't want the files to be with right so pretty cool and uh, this is how we come to the end of the chapter i hope you guys like the video if you did please smash the like button i uh, hope you stay safe healthy and i'll see you next time